Peace, love, and light. Peace, love, and light. How you guys doing this evening? I hope you guys are being safe. Staying safe, staying balanced, staying focused. Um, I want to come today and speak on a couple of things that have been going on with me personally. And I just, of course, had to come share it with you guys. It's It's been real, like, you know, crazy lately. But I definitely, as always, you know, per usual, I have to come and share it with you guys. But, um, anyways, I will be, before I play this video, I wanted to say that I am not, um, I do not own any rights to this video. I do not own any rights to the music that I will be playing in the background. I do not own any rights to any of these videos. Um, but I am here to help spread knowledge and help spread truth. Nothing more. Anyways, let's jump straight into it. Guys, it's been so crazy lately, though. Like, if I must say, the 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 freaking the lessons <laughs> overall have been like the longevity of it has just been, you know, crazy. But you know, there's always a lesson to be learned, and especially being that the times that we are in. Things are being revealed at its greatest peak, and it is that time. It's that time. It's that time. So whether you are with it or without it, it's going to keep going, and it's not waiting on anybody. And as you can see, guys, it's, it's been getting closer and closer. Time has been ticking and ticking and ticking and ticking. Now, let me let y'all in on something. So I went outside today. And I took a run. I was going out for my run. And I looked up, y'all. And there was a shadow behind the cloud. Like a big, giant um, patterned cloud. And it had a shadow of the pat all of the patterns exactly behind it. A mirroring cloud exactly behind it. So I automatically knew, okay, what is that? I thought automatically why does that cloud have a shadow guys are you are you are you seeing this in your skies are you paying attention to your skies i hope that you guys are looking up at your sun watching the moon the night skies the, the morning skies because they are very 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 active and um these are some very important times because they are going to be revealing a lot and it's for the ones who are um, uh, aware enough to realize, notice, or even see in general. But as I looked at these clouds, guys, and I, I realized that there was a shadow, a whole shadow behind the cloud, I could see that the sun, which was behind this giant cloud, had a whole halo around it as well. So I'm like, yeah, this over. This all, all of this is over. All of this is over. It's that time. Things are being um transmitted and you know flipped, and it's it's gonna be a whole new construct. And as you can see, there's a whole new vibration here. So those who are not vibrating at the the feminine energy of the heart, the vibration of the heart chakra. If you're not if you are not vibrating in that um, frequency, then you will be left behind simply. The truth is here, the truth is being revealed, and it is for those who accept the truth, who seeks truth, and for those of you who are, you know, running from the truth, scared, scared of it, you're not facing it, suppressing the truth. It's that time. So as you guys can see. It's time to euthanize the old ways and, you know, begin new ways because it's at this point things are being forced. And if you are, if you have not been aware, these volcanoes that have been erupting like crazy, these fires that have been going off um, nonstop, there's a group of deities, there's a group of extraterrestrial beings who have seeded their... Um, 
quest and ported through a portal down here on this planet at this particular time. And this is why a lot of things are taking place. This is why a lot of um, things may seem weird or funny or, you know, just very intense because there is a lot. This is the time. This is the times that we are in. So things are going to seem a lot more. Matter of fact, let me show you this video, guys. God. The sun you guys looks a little bit different to today. Video. Like it has some kind of ring around it. A rainbow type thing. Huh? Hey, look at that. Your friend pulls his head up out of his phone. You shouldn't look directly into the... Stop everything, he says. It's a sun halo. We need to find shelter now, unless you have the world's biggest umbrella on you. A sun's halo is nature's sign that there's a snow or rainstorm on its way. It's caused by clouds that are made of bazillions of small ice crystals flying around 20,000 feet. Sunlight goes through those crystals, which causes the light to split and refract, like when there's a rainbow. Now, don't look at the sun halo directly. It's going to be tempting because it's not something you see every day. Plus, it's really beautiful. But ultraviolet light can burn the exposed tissue of your retina and cause serious damage. So, UVA, UVB, and UVC is only causing serious damage and um, destruction to those of um, those of you who are not, who have no, who share no connection with the sun. Um, the, from I've been sun gazing for almost about a year now, and for as long as I've been sun gazing. I have yet to have eye problems. I have yet to need glasses. So this um, sun that they are talking about has no effect on us. It is not affecting us. People tell you to stay away from the sun, to go inside, stay inside, cover up. They are talking to themselves because we have no... The sun is not detrimental to us at all, none whatsoever, whether it be physically or internally. The sun is actually activating us as well as um, imp helping us to improve, stimulating us. The sun is a healer, a natural healer for us golden race. Now, we're talking about a, a group of beings, a group of, uh, let's just say, Caucasians who have been... Um, placed at a certain level of um have been placed on this planet rather let me just say this they have been placed here and let me just say these people share 99 percent of their dna with a monkey these people have 75 percent chicken in their dna they have wolf in their dna they have rat musk rat in their dna these people have 98 percent of DNA, they share 90% of their DNA with a monkey. And then that 7%, that um, very minute percentage that they do have within them is human. So these people are animals. Now you tell me why do these people have um, so much of a connection with animals and we have so much of a connection with the sun. So you have to try to um, look at the facts here and kind of compare and contrast what it is that we share and that we have in common with each other. Now we can also look at the hair or look at the texture of the hair, even the smell. Now this is why these people have, they give off the smell being that these people have all of these um, drastic amount of animals within their DNA. They have all of these um, different species within them they inhabit this and this is what causes them to give off these animalistic you know features such as the smell you know this is why some people say when white people get wet or when um technically they are black people if you want to be scientifically um if you want to be real with it let's be real technically they are black Technically, we are white because black does not emit any color. White emits all colors. So technically, we are color. We are white. We are the golden race. We are the son of people. And this is why they got it mixed up. And this is why they gave you the black. And they called them the white people. Because they wanted you to be flipped. They wanted you to be confused. And they wanted you to think that you were this dark 
being that you are dark. You know, that's why they always try to um, downplay or, you know, basically um, boycott the golden race. And when you think of golden people or black people, you think nappy hair, you know, loud music, fighting, cursing, you know, just being over, you know, the top. But this is the, th that right there, that whole mindset, that whole analogy right there alone was literally created and, you know, um, manifested on this world because these people had no connections. They had no relations to us. They had no, um, they had no standpoint with us. They couldn't compare. So these people had to give you this poison, they had to feed you this poison and tell you all these lies to keep you away from whom it is that you truly are. Now, whom it is that you truly are, you are a god. You are a goddess. You are a god gene. You withhold a god gene. My kings, my gods, we are, or excuse me, you are the sun. And um, my goddesses or my... Um, Feminine energies, we are the universe, we are the planets. There are nine planets and one sun, we are the sun. Us feminine um, energies, as women, we are the nurturers, we are the provide, excuse me, we are the um, helpers and the loving, caring, you know, tender energy. And then we have a masculine energy, which is the sun, the um, protector, the provider. So this is where um, our genes come into play and our genetics and how we have a true connection with the universe and a true connection with the sun, as well as the plants and the animals, how our connection and our um, relations to all of those are mirroring images of each other. Can you explain to me why our anatomy or our physique matches the exact um, structure, or not even the structure, the exact, um, it inhabits the same thing as a plant or a tree? Why is it that we are closest to plants and trees than any other resource amongst this planet? We, as go the golden race, are an exact correspondence with plants and trees. So if you look at our connection with not only the sun, but nature, you know, we have a very strong connection, and very strong um, relations, and we actually withhold this, some of the same aspects amongst each other. And this is why they wanted you to be stuck in the sixth state, in a infant state. They wanted you to be stuck in a young state of mind because they wanted to, they wanted that power over you. They wanted that possession and they wanted that ability to keep you away from who it is that you are. Because if you were to tap into who you are, then all hell breaking loose because they will no longer be able, there will be no more leaders. There will be no more um, higher power. Because we would know that there are, there is no higher power. There was never one God. And this is where they, they, they handed you the Bibles and they handed you the texts, the big history textbooks, and they gave you the um, educational system, the ju judicial systems, you know, the whole, the, the, the Catholic, the all of the religion. All of the um, system, the, the entire system, the entire system, everything that they've they've shown us, taught us, or gave us, whether it be school food or freaking um, their political system, like they they have a a strong sense of um, control and power, and they have that ability to manipulate us as a race and, you know, furthermore, um, become very, uh, let's just say, 
They just have that that mentality to euthanize us as a race. They want to kill us off. They want to continue to enslave us, whether that be mentally or physically. And they want the that um that say so. And that's what we as people we fall in line with it and we we pretty much bow down. And we are now handing our children over to these people in which they have that um that ability and that will to usurp blood and energy from our star seeds, our sun gods and goddesses. And these people wonder why the world is the way that it is now and why things are happening the way that they are because all, all darkness must come to light, all hell and um evil wickedness and negativity must come out and must be exposed and this is why the universe or the earth rather mother earth is shaking this is why the volcanoes are erupting the fires are under your feet the um underneath the ground is always under um on fire this is why the air is thinning out you may wonder why it may be um sometimes hard to catch your breath or you may um find that you are remembering to breathe so that means you know the air is thinning out the magnetic field around our planet is being removed currently and things are changing things are changing very fast very rapidly and america is next just because it is not happening in this particular country at this particular time does not mean that it is not going to take place at all so these food shortages are taking place very soon as I, I I went to the store um just recently a couple of days ago and the food the cans were bad the um rice bread like a lot of things were very limited so I can see how things are taking place now so imagine when things really hit the fan so um yeah I'm just very, I'm convinced at this point that things are definitely taking place. Things are at its peak. They are definitely being revealed. And yeah, it is that time. And that's just that. So, yeah. I really didn't have to to you guys to hear. I did want to show you. I'm not sure if you guys have seen this yet, but these um, shots are attracting magnets in people's arms, and these people are having the ability to, you know, stick quarters or magnets on their arm. There was a, a one specific video that I wanted you guys to see, but I guess they're not. I guess they deleted it because that video exposed all of the people around the world who are, you know, like, recording these videos. But, for the most part, guys, I really didn't have too much to come and talk to you about. I did, I did want to explain to you how these times are becoming more and more immense and it, time is ticking at this point. Um, the sun has returned. Our second sun has returned. This is why you may notice that there are two different suns or sometimes the sun may seem very silver at times. And then at other times it may seem very gold, very golden. That's because yes, there are two suns. The second sun has risen. And, um, yeah, there are um extraterrestrial deities or um higher dimensional beings who are coming down through not only the sun but through the stars the portals of the stars yeah they lied when they told you that those were stars those are portals those are um gateways for outside deities to make their way inside as well as leave so with that being said not only are they coming through the um, portals, the sun, but they are also coming through the volcanoes, and I'm pretty sure that I mentioned that already, but 
I need you guys to know this that that time has come in these these deities that are that are going to be revealing themselves very very shortly there's nothing to worry about it's nothing to be afraid about you know it's no fear here this is not fear monger but it's always it's always important to um, have an understanding or understanding but I wanted to talk to you guys about a situation that happened with me at work. I was, it seems as if people have the, um, they are experiencing a bit of cognitive dissonance. And that is just when people have been told something. Two different, um, two different set definitions and people, hold on, you know what, this is what we're going to do. We're going to pull it up. Cognitive dissonance, guys basically means to reject new information that conflicts with their existing beliefs. So this is somebody who's stuck on what they believe and who doesn't want to hear anything outside of that. This is how most um, religion, religious people are. You know, once they're stuck on something, they're not going to regurgitate. They're not going back. You know, that's just that. So that's, that's um, an example of cognitive dissonance. It's just... Nobody's imposing the way that I feel. Nobody's changing how I feel or, you know, altering it in any way, shape, or form. So, yeah, I was speaking to this guy in my workplace, and I was I was speaking UV dreadful. I was speaking some truth on him, and I was speaking, I was telling him, I was having some real soul talk with him. And I was telling him how you are the sun and how you are connected to the sun and how you should do your research on your connection with the sun. And I, when I tell you I had his um, his attention, I you can see the look in their face when you have their attention, when you have somebody's soul attention. So this person, when this conversation began by a Caucasian woman asking, I wonder who were the first beings on this planet and you know me just being me I have to you know give my take on it I have to spill my truth so sorry about these commercials guys yeah me being me of course I'm going to speak truth and I have a brother standing right here next to me of course I'm going to speak truth so it's like I, I got straight to the point and then when I tell you souls resonate with souls truth resonate with truth when you when you hear truth this is why when you can hear you you know a lot when you um when you hear one just like you know the truth when you hear it so when i was telling this brother this as well as her i can tell that i had his attention and i can tell that he was hearing me he was feeling me and it, it was like i was telling him you are the sun. You are connected with the sun. Us, the God gene, the Eve gene, us as black goddesses and um, colored, the golden race overall. We were seated here first. We are the original beings of this planet. We are the natural deities of this planet. And we have the strongest connection. We have the only connection with the sun. In fact, you are the sun. And then that's where... We have the brother with the cognitive dissonance. It's like it's like you've never heard the truth, and when you hear the truth, you, you deny the truth. So it's like, why not? I'm not telling you to consider my truth. I'm not telling you to um, completely banish your truth and you know go go with mine. But what I am saying is, listen and hear me out. Now, all I said was, you wonder why they got tails. All I said was, you you ever wonder why they born with tails? You know what he said? What? Huh? What are you talking about? And you know what? When I heard that, I was just like, you know what? Let me just cut that short. Because some people aren't ready for, you know, specific conversations. Some people aren't ready for certain levels of talk. So I had to back it down a little bit. But I did want him to know I was going to take it there if he wanted to take it there. So then we ended up in the kitchen area and I was telling him, he was like, I can tell I had his soul um, real, real interested to this conversation because he had came back around and he was like, we weren't done talking about our conversation. 
And then, boom. So now he's just sitting there listening. I don't know if he took any of that stuff, any of that information and, you know, considered it or applied it to his life or to his day-to-day self. But I did tell him and that's what matters. And that's what, you know, counts because I was there to help him, to guide him in a sense, to furthermore help him to improve. But I, I can see how we are in a heap of trouble as the golden race because we got this Caucasian woman sitting here seemingly believing me or listening rather and then we have the brother in denial so you have to see here where the true um chaos is and where the true um what is it the true this is this is where the the real problem is guys when we look at us as a whole as a race we are so far gone and it's like even the truth won't recognize you so it's like i don't know i don't know some people may may have to redo this again some people may have to come back i don't know people but it's like the more you try to help people the more you try to you know um and no excuse me the more you have the more you try to you know show people the way they they just turn the other cheek so you can lead a horse to water but you can't make them drink it and their trick this this entity's trick on this planet was to make a lot of us very thirsty so when we got thirsty you know we fell fell for the trap we fell in the trap and you know we went ahead and drunk the water so that's that's where we as a whole we we kind of relapsed and us as a entire race we are in a hole we are in a very deep hole and mother universe is at reset this entire planet is at reset the north is going back under under ice this is going to be a very cold excuse me a very hot summer uva uvb and uvz is very 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 immense this summer um it's going to be harmful to those who have who share no connection with the sun of course but um these times are very very intense now and things are hitting the fan the time is now and a lot shall be revealed whether it be truth or light the truth shall set you free um, a lot of us are waking up to our true self, our true powers. A lot of us are tapping into that true God energy. We are able to compute that God consciousness, you know, at an easier state of being. And then a lot of us are going to be facing our truth. A lot of us are going to be facing our our um, our depths and what we did in life. And the lies that we implemented on each other or the lies that we carried out through history. Um, so the sun, believe it or not, the sun is going to burn the truth out of a lot of people, everybody. This, the, the truth is going to be revealed. So, um, yeah, my people, I value you truly. I honor you guys and I truly appreciate you. I, um, yeah, like I mentioned, I don't really have much to speak about. But I did want to come share that with you guys. These people have a very high rate of... These people are watching us on a daily. These people are envious and hungry for our blood. Yes, it's crazy, as crazy as it may sound. You have to question, why do you think um, the children, so many children are coming up missing? Not only in these states, in this country, but in Africa. All around the country, all around the land. And um, Germany, why are so many children and women being kidnapped and sex trafficked? What do you think they're doing? They're harvesting their organs. They are preserving their organs, usurping energy and transmitting it to another vessel. This is how these people survive. This is how they last for so long. This is how they exist. And they, they study you, they try to, they, they, they observe you and they watch you and they dig into you because they want to know how you doing it 
golden race. Why are you so infinite? You know, how can you travel and um have that ability to, you know, maneuver from different dimension, dimension to dimension to dimension in the matter of hours? You have that ability to walk through the sun. You can reincarnate. You can um, transmit any soul, any level of energy, any vibration, anything. You can do anything to anything. You can manipulate anything. You have the power within you. And these people, they don't, they don't understand that. They don't understand how. And this is why they try to take it from you. This is why they try to abuse it or, um, you know, steal it, rather. This is why they are trying to get more, more and more of us within them. Because they want to become infinite. They want, um, a, they want etern eternity. And this is why they have that eye out for us. You notice why you always have you always have eyes on you. It always feels like somebody's watching you. That's because somebody is watching you. Why they're so mesmerized when it comes to your hair and your skin or your body or your height. Because they have that they have they're they're just so dreamy about you because they see you for who you are. And half of my people don't even see them for who they are. They're so insecure, they're so, you know, they they lack self-love and self-worth because they've been tricked to try to be this race who has nothing in common with them. My sister's out here in this world trying to be this 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 other race. Straight hair, makeup, lashes, blue contacts, green contacts, you know, long nails. And we got the white race trying to be us with the lip injections and the big butt, you know, like, and and now we got people getting cornrows, you know, it's just, it's just backwards. And this is why everything is to be reset. The, the truth was completely stripped from us as infant beings. And we were, we were told to be quiet. We were handed a life, and now it's that time for things to be revealed. Now it is that time for you to know the truth, and for the person who has been implementing that lie on you to face that truth as well. And this is why this time is so important. So it is very important for you to vibrate in your heart chakra to escape that um, masculine mentality and you know move over to the feminine energy the love heart chakra so it is that time for us to um you know begin to maneuver a little different and i know i'm rambling on i hope you guys are staying safe out there once again being your best truest self and just staying balanced is nothing but love, peace, value, and appreciation. Hope you guys are staying safe. Thank you.